Hey friends, welcome to our channel. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and if you haven't already, please do subscribe so you can stay up to date with our new stuff. Okay, here we go. So let's make something without blood. Yes, I can do that, but first I have to prepare my hair and remove my makeup. And I have to pop in these are beautiful lenses. I'll be right back. Here we are again. Hey. <laughs> Wearing a sassy a wig cap. Clean skin. Beautiful lenses. The vampire green. And I prepared my skin with some skin prep from Meron. And the next thing I'm going to do is apply the bald cap with some prose and I will do that off camera because you guys see me, do, me doing that a lot of times. So here we have a nice bald cap. I've applied better bald caps but you know it's stuck now so I have to deal with it. So I am going to hide the edges with some prose. Normally I use latex but lately I find this a better method and I'm also I'm going to apply is some um, rosate on top of the bold cap so when I apply the aqua colors there will be not as much difference between uh, the color on the bold cap as on my skin I can't explain it so to remove the shine I'm going to use of course the Meron setting powder and make a nice dust cloud <laughs> So there's nothing wrong with the camera, it's just the dust. So I found these cute little horns. Put them on my chin. Forehead, perfect. Yes. So I take my lip pencil and I'm going to mark down where I am going to place the horns looks about right okay and of course I'm gonna apply it with prosade it's a word I'm going to use a lot in this video so I I already lost count how many times I use the word prosade <laughs> to speed up the drying pros <laughs> the drying process of the glue I use a blow dryer and once it's dried clear I just stick it on. Press perfect. So you can see it's quite a thick edge, so I have to hide it. So I use <laughs> another layer of prosade. And drum roll please. The Ben Knight nose and scar, scar wax. I am dying to try this one you know I, I wanted to try this for ages and now we finally have it in a web shop so go check that out and of course I use my spatula and my Vaseline the difference between the scar wax and sin wax is the scar wax is a a lot softer and easier to easier to use basically yeah so it's perfect for little tasks like this it's blending nicely so once I've done both sides I'm gonna dust it down with some setting powder and I seal everything with the fixative A where is it yes here is the fixative A to make it a bit more um, you know bump free <laughs> Bit more resistant against bumps so i use the pastel green from superstar and a beauty blender and i'm gonna tap that all over my face my head my chest on camera it looks a lot lighter than it is in real life so i'm just tapping it on so 
to speed it up the process and this is what I ended up with so now I'm gonna use the baby pink from Superstar and the purplish color 39 and this lilac special purple 34 from Superstar and I'm gonna apply those with the titanic brushes these colors have a nice metallic shine oh, it's not really metallic they have this beautiful shine on it it's not picking up on camera but it is so I use the purples on the edges of the horns and the pink on the horns and then you get something sassy like this look at that my avant-garde demon is getting there then I take some regular green eyeshadow I hardly use any green eyeshadow so this is the perfect excuse for it and I create a smoky eye of course contour my nose and my cheeks and my jawline like that so I have to put on some falsies and I will do that off camera because I'm really clumsy with those so but they came nice they came out nice yeah so I love these I got this inspiration for this look by a present that I received and that that's it you know these beautiful face jewels and I got them from a very dear friend Linda thank you so I had to use them and so this were the inspiration for this look and it's super easy to use so peel them off and stick them on that's basically it I did it in a slow-mo so you could see how beautiful they are so this is normal speed again just place them press down and you have an instant avant-garde look look at that it's so pretty so on the bottom half here we go just press down oh, I would love to stick my whole head full of those then I found this beautiful hexagon is the hexagon Thingies, and I'm gonna glue them down with some prosate. And I'm gonna use that on these edges of my face. Just dot some prosate down and then stick, stick them down. Really, that's it. Easy peasy. Takes a bit of time. stick as many on your face as you want. <clears throat> the avant-garde look is picking up. So my avant-garde demon is classy, sassy and mischievous and she loves fashion but she's got her own style. Don't you think? It's very important to have your own style. So, so uh, my camera decided to do something different. This is a more realistic um, view of the colors. So I finished the other side as well and now I'm going to use a matte lipstick in the color green to make the lips nice. And once the lipstick is dried, I use a glitter topper on top of it to finish it off. And there goes the camera again. I don't know what, he had, what my camera's problem was. <clears throat> so, that's done. So, to finish it off, I got this beautiful little sh shimmering bolero and that's it. Thank you so, so much for watching and see you next time. Same place, different look. Bye-bye.